Paper Mario is one of my favorite game series and it always will be. Everyone knows Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario 64, and of course Paper Mario Sticker Star, which is notorious for being terrible. But did you know that Sticker Star was actually never supposed to happen? There is a lost Paper Mario game that still hasn't been found, even 12 years later. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys all about it, so let's jump right into it. During E3 2010, a certain game was shown off, and this game was Paper Mario for the 3DS. Of course, we did get it eventually, and it was called Sticker Star. However, this game is not Sticker Star. It shares little to no elements with Sticker Star. So what game is this? Well, this is a very, very early build of Paper Mario 3DS. This build is basically lost media. There's only one small piece of footage and a handful of screenshots. Take a look. So yeah, this game looks really different. Let's go over all the differences. Firstly, this game has partners. The only partner we get to see is the Chain Chomp, but it has a unique move. It has the ability to launch forward and break blocks like Koops and Cooper from Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and Paper Mario 64. There might be other functions, but it's unknown. I honestly think that it could count as a first strike if you hit it with a lunge, but again, we just don't know. We also see it in battle, but there's no footage that shows it attacking. This basically confirms that partners were planned for this game. It's very unfortunate that it didn't make it into the final build, assuming this is a pre-release of Sticker Star. This game looks so different that it's still hard to tell. But honestly, this game seemed to be a direct sequel to The Thousand Year Door. Enemies such as Goombas and Pokies share the same appearance as they did in The Thousand Year Door. We also get to see an early version of Koopa Troopa. The Wiggler also shares a similar flower color to the unreleased Wiggler sprite in Super Paper Mario. We also get to see a scrap boss, which is King Charopu, a King Monty Mole. Unfortunately, these enemies turned into generic designs in the actual release of Sticker Star, dropping the Thousand Year Door look. Another major change is the battle system. It looks like it takes place on a stage like it did in the Thousand Year Door. While there's no audience, we can see curtains which implies it's a stage. Stickers are still present, but they look much different than in Sticker Star. Based on this screenshot right here, it looks like there's a multi-bounce sticker in the game. Although there's no confirmation it is, it looks very similar to the badge that appears in the Thousand Year Door. The backgrounds also look a lot different than the final game. They look closer to the original Paper Mario backgrounds. We also have an unused level to look at. Here's an unused level made out of playing cards. It's very unfortunate that this didn't make it into the final game, cause this world looks really cool. There's also unused music that appears in this build. As far as I know, there's only one track that we get to hear. It sounds very similar to Blue Skies and White Clouds from the final game. Take a listen. It has a lot of differences, but it does seem somewhat similar. The song is also nowhere to be found in the final game. There's also another build of Sticker Star that I'd like to mention, but I'm not going to talk about it that much. This is the Nintendo Conference 2010 version, and the art style is very similar to the final game. There are a few differences, like the health HUD being white and yellow, and the numbers are orange. The frog sticker acted like an actual sticker, not a defense one. Its original purpose was to be like the line jump, where it jumps on every single enemy once. Stickers also look very different. They have a red circle around them and it's not present in the final game. There's also a rainbow meter thing, but I'm not sure what it does. It also doesn't appear in the final game. So that's pretty much it for this build of Sticker Star. There's really not that much stuff known about this build, so it's pretty much lost media at this point. However, there are a lot of different builds of Sticker Star. I mean, there's over 5 different builds of the game. I will eventually go over all the builds of this game in a video, but that's for another day. Although it's a bummer we didn't get this game, at least we get a remake of the Thousand Year Door next month which is kinda cool. So thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.